Welcome to Tyler's Garage. Today we're going to look at the installation of my new Spawn 2 post lift. I'll mention some issues that I encountered. Hopefully this video will help you with the installation of your own lift. Or if you've ever dreamed of having a lift and wanted to see the installation process, here you go. The first step for the installers was getting the tape measures out and start mocking up the locations for the two posts. This is extremely important because once you put those two posts down, they're not going to be moved. When considering placement, about 30% of the vehicle is in front of the post while 70% is behind. That means that your post should be about 70% from the garage door based on the largest vehicle you'll be lifting. In my case, it was my 2004 Silverado long bed extended cab, which is 20 and a half feet. So I mounted the, my post 14 feet from the garage door opening. This illustration here shows the difference between asymmetrical and symmetrical vehicle placement on lifts and helps to illustrate that 70-30%. One of the benefits of asymmetrical lifting is being able to eat more easily get out of the vehicle. When the truck pulls up with your lift on the trailer, you start to get really excited, realizing the dream for many years is finally becoming a reality. The truck the installers used had a unique hydraulic trailer, which when lowered had the post to nearly ground level. This made getting the posts out of by hand and dolly much easier. The SPL 10,000 weight is a, of the lift is approximately 1,700 pounds. So here we're gonna have a time lapse of the installation for the first post. They've gone ahead and brought the post in. First thing they're gonna do is they're gonna add the XL cap. So this will raise the lifting height of it from 73 and a half to 80 and a half inches so that you can have more space under the vehicle when lifting. So the next thing that's gonna be happening here is they're gonna go ahead and figure out how best to raise that post safely. Um, and it's pretty incredible checking heights of the ceiling. And then there's the first post up. With post number one up, now it comes to post number two and making sure they're the grandmothers come out and take a look. So then we bring in post number two, and this is when we start to realize that there are some issues. So as we start to line up that second post, what becomes obvious is the post is going to be sitting on an expansion joint for the concrete, which is not acceptable. Uh, we look at it and tried to figure out if there were some ways that we could possibly move the post um, slightly to the right or left so that it would enable us. But the problem that we encountered was then the post would not be lined up with the door. So when you would bring in a vehicle, it essentially would not um, be correct and it'd be very challenging to do. Here you can see the foot of the post and how it lines up almost directly on the expansion joint um, and so that whole area will have to be cut out and here you can see the finished product where that section was cut out and then we were able to do the installation. So after my concrete guy came cut that section out and then we waited two weeks they came back and finally um, got to finish the installation. So as you can notice here, they're running the cables, that's the backup cables to the hydraulic systems, making sure that's going where it needs to go. Also going, um, double checking the electrical, filling the hydraulic fluid. Uh, this lift they had did make it a lot easier for that. Now we're installing the arms. The arms are going up and down for the first times, getting any air out of the hydraulic lines double checking things going through things so here is our first uh, running of the hydraulics you can also hear the uh, mechanical back up there that's the locking mechanism if there was the hydraulics failed for some reason that would enable you to have a backup for safety reasons
It's so exciting as you're watching your lift go up for the first time, knowing the possibilities and the opportunities that having this in your garage are gonna allow you. And you just wanna make sure that everything is installed correctly. That's why I had it professionally installed here. And just this allows you also to notice the high quality of the unit itself, um, the confidence that it will bring by having the vehicle lifted correctly and most importantly, safely. So they're in here looking now to make sure that everything looks correct. And that's also why I had it professionally installed. So after much waiting, finally we get the opportunity to do our first lift. This was 28 days after the concrete was poured. Wanted to make sure that the concrete was at its full structural strength before lifting anything. Here we are lifting the uh, truck in, in real time. So you can see how long it takes for it to raise. You can also hear the safety backup. Uh, and it's just a, such an exciting and awesome moment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Please subscribe and watch out for my next Tyler's Garage video. Have a great day.